Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, we're going to make some really cute stuffed flowers, and some of these little, we did this with felt, with purple felt, and it looked like lavender stones, uh, but I'm calling these twirly, twirly flowers, so we're going to make um, a couple different things. We're going to be using... Uh, denim. <laughs> so this denim right here came from my husband's jeans that um, one day he just came downstairs tearing them apart and I said, don't throw them away, I can do something with them. Um, and so they've been worn uh, for a million years and they're so super soft. Um, so that was one kind of denim. And then this other denim <laughs> is from a pair of jeans that I purchased for, oh gosh, they were $8.42 at Goodwill. So we're going to use denim. Let's see where I put this. We're going to be using uh, some blue ticking, blue canvas ticking. I usually get this from Walmart. We're also going to be using some canvas duck fabric. I usually get this at Walmart. And then we're going to be using some dowels. We may use a little bit of lace. We'll be using a low temperature hot gluing device. And mine is a Sherbonder Cool Shot. And some stuffing and possibly some buttons. Um, the thing about this project that I love so much is that you can make this kind of a flower out of absolutely anything you want. So we'll, I'll show you step by step how to make this. Uh, you can also make this kind of a flower out of any kind of fabric that you might have on hand. And same with this one. And really the only difference between this one and this one is that I, um, I cut it in an oval. So be thinking about that. Your flowers don't always have to be round. Okay, this is the darker denim, this is the lighter denim. So let's hop right in and get started. But you know what, before we do that, um, I just wanted to show you, I did a tutorial. Well, it's not here. Um, a year and a half, two years ago, where I showed you how to make these adorable leather cuffs using uh, that denim that was my husband's to make rolled rosettes. I also showed well I also showed how to make a really cute necklace so as I was getting ready for this video I just pulled that out and I will look for that video this afternoon and I will put it here on DIY dreaming and replay it in case anyone wants to see how you can use denim to make rolled rosettes that you can use to make jewelry okay so first thing you need to do is decide what you want your flower to look like and I think what I have decided for the next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to have this center part be the canvas ticking. And we'll probably go not straight up and down or horizontal. We'll probably go at a funky ang angle. And then I think we'll use some canvas duck. And we might use some strips of the dark blue. So. Uh, I might use that for something different. I don't know. This is one of those projects where you don't really know where you're going until you get there. Uh, so if you are the type of person that has to plan everything out, this might be a frustrating project for you. I am going to cut both the front and the back at the same time, because why not? And I'll save this little piece for something else. And it honestly does not matter at all if your circle or oval are the perfect shape. I can never, ever cut a circle. I just can't. I don't know why. They always end up looking like a wonky oval. Okay, good enough front and back. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the um, this part. 
and it's going to be two pieces because it will stand up stiffer if you have two pieces, okay? Um, and let me give you this tip. When you are looking for canvas stuck, if you're out and about looking for it, um, you want to find the heaviest weight canvas deck you possibly can for this project, um, it will just work so much better. Okay, so I'm going to just pin this all together and we'll just cut out a, a larger circle and then we'll start the whole process of um, of gluing it together. And don't throw away your scraps because you just never know what you're going to want to make next. That just needs a little teeny bit of something. So uh, I have bins and bins and bins of scraps. So tell me in the comments if um, you have ever made any of the flowers that I have showed here on DIY Dream, which ones you made, and what you felt about it. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this onto this front piece here. But I'm going to leave a little bit of it open because we're going to stuff this and then we're going to stuff the inside part. Okay, wow, this is really a wonky circle. Okay, so I'm just going to put some hot glue. This is a good project to use a low temperature hot gluing device. Because uh, I had it all over my hands earlier. Okay, I want to make sure I leave a little bit open, but not too much. And you're going to have hot glue strings for days after you do this project. Alright, so that's the first thing, and we will come back and stuff this. The next thing is we want to um, cut our little floppy do's. All right. And I'm just going to cut just kind of wedges. Can you see? They don't have to be all the same width. Um, you're not going to be able to tell if they're not perfectly straight or if you have a skinny one and then a couple of fat ones. So the original flowers that I made that were this style are still packed away. I think they're with my 4th of July stuff. But um, I made those in 2021. And I was just looking through my pictures this morning thinking, I want to make flowers, but I want to do something a little different and I want to use denim. And this is what I landed on. I, I remembered how cute those had turned out. So front and back are both sewn. All right, and then the next thing is, sorry about that, my husband was calling. Um, okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna glue these two pieces together just right around the edge and we're gonna stuff this inside piece too. Just going around about up to the area where I made the snips. Can you guys see how just totally easy this is? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me think. I want this to be. I want the flower to not be 
you know, straight up or down. I want it to be wonky. So I think I'm going to need to put my stick in about right here. Let me grab a pencil so I can remind myself. Hopefully that will jog a memory when I get there. And let's flip it over and let's just glue on the other side. And where did I decide my stick was going to be? I'm going to fix this side. And I probably won't stuff this back part. What do you guys think so, so far? Kimberly Doolittle says she's bought so much duck cloth and none of it is heavy like yours. Well, this super heavy stuff that I'm working with today, I actually picked up over um, Thanksgiving when I was in Boise, Idaho, visiting my mom and my son. And um, it came from a store called Craft Warehouse, which I know they have some of those out west. Um, and it was the only canvas duck that they had. So I just had to get it. Um, but just uh, when you're at the store, ask the salesperson or the person who does the cutting and check at a real fabric store. A lot of times I'll get stuff at Walmart, but the thing is there's never anyone there to help me. And if you go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby or, you know, uh, we have a store called Boca Bargoon or something like that, um, get the person who is in that department to help you find the heaviest, thickest canvas duck you can. Okay, now we're going to stuff a little bit. We're going to stuff the outside, the front little pocket, because why not, really? And we'll come back and we'll dress this up with something. Maybe some buttons. Can you see how now it has a profile there? Okay, I'm going to say good. And you can rough up your ends if you want so that they're really shaggy and frayed. That's up to you. Okay, now you need your dab. And really, if you start uh, thinking about where you're going to put your dowel, that, um, then you're going to stuff. That will keep you on track. So. I'm just going to put my dowel in right here. These are really skinny, and dowels come in all different sizes. Um, I don't know where I got these, but I purchased them at Hobby Lobby. I purchased them at Walmart, at Michael's. I've even purchased dowels at Dollar Tree. So they, um, they're easy to find. And you can do the short ones or the long ones. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so once I get it pretty stuffed, then I'm going to just use my finger to kind of guide a little hole through the stuff and fluff where I'm going to put my dowel. And let's glue our dowel here first. sandwich. Um, okay, so somebody just made a really great comment. Lorraine Burkhart Ankenbrand said she likes using real branches. I do too. I made some last year with real branches. 
but it's freezing cold in Georgia today. It is beautiful and sunny, but it's chilly. So I didn't have the motivation to go outside and dig up some branches. Okay, here's where we are right now. And I do think it needs some little something, something on it. And one thing I was thinking, I don't think that's gonna look good. We could just, let's use some, a little bit of lace around it, and then let's use some buttons, and then we'll do the stem, and then I'll show you next how to do this, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna start somewhere off to the side, grab the glue stick. Let's see what's everyone saying. So I think, you know, um, a lot of you guys are saying you like these flowers and that you probably have everything you need. If you craft it all, I bet you do. I bet you have everything that you need to come up with something like this. Um, and if you don't have the stuff and fluff, but you have a pillow that you don't love, take it apart. Um, look in your, look in your jeans and see if you have anything that you don't wear anymore that you might be inclined to donate and then you might as well craft with it. Um, or you could do this with flannel shirts. Um, so I'm just pulling this around and kind of sticking it into my glue. And this is what I mean by getting glue on your fingers and why it's so important that you don't use a high temperature glue gun because you're going to have glue burns for sure if you do. Maybe there's another kind of glue that you like to work with like some of that Eileen's tacky glue. Um, you don't necessarily have to use hot glue. The thing about hot glue that I like, though, is how immediate your results are. And you don't have to, you know, sit around and wait. I'm a very impatient crafter. So if you're liking this video, you're liking this project, you like flowers, take a minute or two before you get off and look to see if you follow DIY Dreaming. I do a ton of flowers here, tons. Um, and I also do a lot of um, family stuff, a lot of faith stuff, but tons of flowers. That's like my thing that I totally love. So if you love that too, I'd love to have you come back. Okay, oh my word, there's a ton of Blue strings everywhere. All right, and now I'm going to, let's do some leaves that look like this um, for this, and then we'll add some buttons. How does that sound? I think that's a good idea. And maybe since this one has two, we'll just do one. Okay, and making a leaf, I never use a pattern, do you guys? I just kind of wing it. And cut roughly in the shape that I think a leaf would be. I am going to stuff it though. that's sort of a leaf shape, kind of. And let's just do it most of the way together. Then we'll stuff it. And we'll attach it to our little stem, our dowel.
when I was doing these earlier, because you guys, you know, I always, I always um, prep. Like I prepped about two and a half, three hours for this today um, because I, I want to be able to tell you what to do, what not to do. And I, I don't usually just come live and do a project I've never done before. I know a lot of people do, but I'm, a, I'm kind of a, a planner. <laughs> um, anyways, what was I going to say about that? Oh, that when I made these leaves, I glued them too shut. So there was really almost no room to get my fluff in there. So now I'm, I know that, and I'm sharing that with you. Don't, don't uh, glue it completely closed or you'll have a hard time. Okay, so now it's stuffed. And let's just see where we would want it to be on here. And I'm basically going to, ow. I'm going to glue the dowel onto it first and I want my leaf to kind of be angled up And let's trim this off because we don't need that little extra bit of fabric. Okay, I'm thinking it turned out cute and I think these guys are going to look good together. At first I was worried because the denim was so different, but I think it's going to all make sense once this one comes in because this one has a lot of cream or lighter. And um, so let me just grab a couple of mother, oh these actually are abalone buttons. Um, that I got at a antique store. Um, I haven't. I have been searching for buttons again because I'm getting very low, and I have just not had any luck finding uh, them. But I'm looking all the time. Want another small one? Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to do three. And if you like, you could use some jute or even sewing thread or embroidery floss to tie a little knot in this. I'm going to have my um, holes go straight up and down. straight up and down. All right, let's do that twirly kind of flower. Let me poke these in for just a second um, so you can kind of see where we're going. I'll trim everything up nice. After, let me tell you about this. Oh, let's put this on the side. Uh, this, I need some new foam in here. This piece right here was something I found at Goodwill. I love those Goodwill finds. And um, I have changed the ribbon out on it a hundred times. So right now I just have some like lace sort of glued in there. I may want to cut this one shorter. I think I do. Let me see. Some kind of clippers that I can use here, probably. 
Yeah, I need some new floral foam for sure. Because this has too many holes in it. show you how to do this. Let's just poke that in there and see how that looks. I would probably do three of those or two and then you'd have an odd number here five. Hey and before I proceed to show you how to do this, have you guys been to Dollar Tree lately? Um, I was there, I don't know, when was it? When I went to my Wednesday Bible study this week. And um, they had all these little wood picks that I thought were pretty darn cute. They do seem pretty small for $1.25 a piece. But I was kind of thinking that these little leaves could be cute in this arrangement too. So I just grab those. We'll, we'll fiddle around with that after. Okay, to make your little twirled thing, you need to decide what you want to put on there to twirl. And I think I'm gonna do some of this darker denim. So you need some strips and, or one long strip. I'm just gonna take a snip and tear it. And then I'm gonna take the strings off. We've done this style of flowers a lot here. Um, and if you saw the video that I made last year on making the felt lavender, then you're gonna recognize what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this strip in half and I'm gonna glue it on itself. So we have basically a little tube. I'll pick it up in just a second and show you. See, so we're just gluing it on itself and we have a little tube here. And however big these little things are, depends on how wide your strip starts. So this is just what I have going on here. That's how most of my crafts uh, happen. I don't necessarily have a specific plan for sizes. I just kind of wing it. So now I have a tube and I'm going to cut the side that does not have the glue just into a bunch of little snips. And we're going to twirl and glue this on a dowel. We may just do one and we may cut the dowel short. Once you have it glued, the glue kind of slows you down so you don't cut it all the way through. But if you do, no worries. You can just glue it right on. You'll never, never be able to see. Don't worry, I won't glue or cut the other one. <laughs> this is about as boring as watching somebody paint a surface, which I think is boring. Okay, so now I have a strip and it, my tube, and it has all these little snips. And I need a dowel. 
Where have I hidden them? Oh, here they are. And you're going to start at the top, and you're going to really make sure that you have the top of your dowel um, glued on there really well. So, and that you get a really good little sandwich around it, because you don't want it to be visible. So I'm going to roll it into my glue. And this is how you start. All right? And then, ooh, I almost cut that all the way through. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on my towel. Pull this around. And you're going to start kind of um, pulling and twisting it down at an angle. This is another instance where you're going to get a lot of glue on your fingers, so make sure that it's low temperature. So can you see how it's starting to take shape? Now, let's see if we can just kind of roll into it now that I have it going. And I think we can. However, I do want to pull it as tight as possible. quick finish this up and we'll trim it short I'll show you the whole thing these flowers I mean if I had to guess how much they cost me <laughs> probably not even a dollar a piece um, and the thing is I had everything on hand that I needed and I bet you do too. So if it's a Saturday afternoon and you're just looking for something, some kind of little easy craft project to do, this is a good project for that. And if you don't have the dowels, um, go outside and look for a stick because that will work too. All right, and if I wasn't, let me turn this off. If I wasn't live, feeling like I'm wasting your time, I would glue on another one, but let's just cut it kind of short and see how it looks. Do it from my side and then I'll Turn it around. Oh, my moss is even coming off. I need to redo that. Okay. So what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? And it's, okay, this project is made of canvas duck, canvas ticking fabric, and um, old jeans. And then you can throw in a little lace, maybe some buttons. You need dowels or sticks. And I think it's pretty adorable. When I was thinking about what kind of flowers to do today, I was thinking that I definitely wanted Um, to use denim. I don't know if you guys like that idea or not, but it's just fun and different and kind of unexpected. I feel like this one is laying down. So if you like this project, I would love it if you would consider sprinkling this video to your social media. Yes, it's clean and or cute and simple. It's not clean, oh my word, not at all. Um, can you see this little guy right here? Let's aim him out. Uh, 
Um, feel free to sprinkle, feel free to ask questions. Uh, if you started in the middle of the video, if you just want to go back and watch it on replay, you'll see every single step. Um, because every one of these flowers are essentially the same thing. This is just shorter denim than these pieces here. Uh, it's like you're making a sandwich <laughs> and you're stuffing it. And then you're decorating it with whatever you want, whether that's lace or trim or twine. Um, and you can do whatever kind of buttons if you want to add some of those. Um, I'm a big cream. I am the queen of cream is what one of my followers calls me. Uh, so I like cream, but um, I just want you to know that this project can be totally adapted to whatever your style might be. So I'll get close-up pictures. I'll post those here in the comments. I'll also post them over just at DIY Jamie so you can take a look. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for the stars. Thank you for all of your sweet comments. Goodness. I can't wait now to go sit down. I'm going to get a cup of coffee because it's kind of chilly. And read everything that you guys have said. That's my favorite part. And um, we will be doing lots more flowers in the weeks and months to come. Let me show you this one. Okay, let me get it. It's heavy. This is a great spring flower project. These are twigs. And they're forsythia, which I don't know if forsythia grows where you live, but that was one of the things I specifically asked for when we were planting, when we were doing our yard. Where am I? And um, this is, you guys, it's yellow tissue paper that is on these, glued on these little branches. My split peas have faded. So when I put this back out in my kitchen this spring, later this spring, I will get two new bags of split peas so they're that crisp green again. Uh, but anyways, I have lots of flowers up my sleeves. We'll probably do coffee filter hydrangeas again. Oh my gosh, there's so many things that we can do. So I hope you'll come back. Thank you so much for the stars, Pam. I appreciate that. Hope you'll come back. Hope you'll bring some friends with you. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys later. Okay.